Down to basement of the airport we go. The head trick is here to lead the case from Edgeworth and proving Rhoda's innocence. Come shoe with Frankie. We'll tag along with him. Welcome back to TD Games, the Ace Attorney Investigation Collection of Miles Edgeworth, the first game. Time, March the 12th. At 2.52 p.m. Location flight, G-3-9-0. Lower deck, cargo hold. If this actually a plane like this exists or something, because I don't know what. It is huge here. Surprising. Must be the other artworks. Wow! So this is the cargo hold, huh? I want to see some stuff. Don't touch. It's so big! Downstairs. Whoa, the suitcases! Rhoda's collection. Hey, one's missing. Technically, they were supposed to be... If there's like 10 of them, there's 12 in total. This plane is a special model. It has both super large cargo hold and an ultra luxurious fast class seat. So, this is the real scene of the murder? Explains the elevator. There is certainly a high prob probability of that, which is why we are here, correct? Okay, let's get an escape, sir. Get an investigation. That cargo hold. Uh, you sure you're not bored about this whole thing? Fine, sir, don't mind me. Okay, you're just gonna... Okay. Bed sheets. Zing Fen Express. Huh. Alright. Ooh, this is suitcases. Let's examine them first. Holy suitcases, Mr. Edgeworth! Uh, detective, are you trying to sound like Batman Rob? No cliche of Adam West. No, no, well, not really, but a little. But anyways, look! It's like an all-you-can-use suitcase bear. This must be all the leftovers one state could sell. The ones the company is planning to dispose of after their flight is over. This paint job is really cool. Don't you think? It's practically screams artsy. <laughs> what are you? Yusuke Kawa? Kawa? Oh, why not purchase one then? I'm sure it will bring you much happiness. I think he's being sarcastic with you. You think so? Then uh, maybe I will. Let's see here. Uh, boom! Twenty hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars. Twelve dollars. They go bust. And Miss Torino wonders why they don't sell. You need two jobs just to buy one. Uh, dude. Seriously though, you could um lower the price a little. Although. It definitely looks like one is missing. What is this brutally substance I'm stepping on? It's glass. It's a bunch of glass fragments? Glass shards. What are these glass shards from? I believe I don't know what they are. Hold that thought. Hey, there's another suitcase. Well, it was a regular kind. It's like a business suitcase. We'll examine that too. Hey, what's with the suitcase, pal? It's what the victim checked in, sir. So the suitcase belonged to Mr. Hicks. I don't think he'd mind if we took a closer look. Probably a good idea. There's nothing out of the ordinary here, sir. Wait, a file? And there's a photo of Miss Von Carmen in it, sir. It looks like a profile of Francisca. Whoa, he ha Hicks had a profile on Fran Frankie? Profile on Francisca. Why did Mr. Hicks have documents on Francisca in his possession? Yeah! That's what I like to know too! Why would Mr. Hicks had a file had a file on her? Guess we need to talk to her. Oh, Frankie! You arrived at the scene of the crime before Detective Gush, correct? No. Why and you then immediately began to di di to direct the investigation? It seems to me that you were already here at this airport for something besides this murder. <sighs> Guess I was. Okay, what at this airport? I've been following a very large and involved governmental level international crime. It's a big thing for us lawyers to do. But it's much too large for one person to take on alone. Any alone the backup sometimes is not work. So it was decided that I should form a joint investigation with Interpol. Interpol, 
Francisca came to this airport as an Interpol assistant. Really? Huh. How unusual. Okay. International Interpol is involved. It's a top secret operation, so I, I really can't tell you any more than I already have. Fine. I think I'll do some connection next. I'll try. Logic time. Okay, uh, glass shard and broken glass. Yeah, it takes his glasses for this. Please fit. I think we can safely con conduct concealed that these fragments are far from a pair of glasses. And the, the victim was wearing a pair of, gla pair of broken glasses. Oh, sir, even yeah, afterwards, if you're dead or not. More to the point, exactly what I was thinking. I'm sure that the shards would match up perfectly with the immense of his glasses lenses. Argo, the victim was here, just as I expected. So you're saying that the real scene of the crime was here, sir? Isn't that what i was been saying for a while now? Oh, is it? I didn't know that. Perhaps it's a bit early to draw that conclusion. However, I believe that the probability has just a scot rocketed considerably. All that's left is to find the murder weapon. Okay. Nan! Profile on Francisca and Interpol. Connect! A big case here then. Now, why would Mr. Hicks have documents profiling Francisca? Uh, oh, I know! I bet he's a big fan of Miss Von Karma, sir. If Mr. Hicks was a big fan of Frankie, a big whip, I think he'd be terrified of her. It would probably kind of like that seduction thing of the whip. I don't want to go there. It's It would be disturbing, but no, he didn't. Francisca said that she had come to this airport as part of the Interpol investigation. Oh, maybe Mr. Hicks has heard she was coming here and fo he followed her. Detective, I think it's more likely that Mr. Hicks was, in actuality, Interpol Agent Hicks. Interpol Agent Hicks! That makes sense! I think Francisca has some explaining to do. Frankie, I got some explaining to do! Wow. Truth behind Hicks. Huh, who knew? I guess it makes sense, though. You came to the airport to... reminisce with the victim, didn't you? Nonsense! Well, what are you talking about? Ah, uh, let's put the hesitation all of a sudden, girlfriend. Don't say that. We found the profile detailing information about you in the victim's lodge. I suppose it was prepared for him so that he could recognize you when he landed. Which makes him not Mr. Hicks, but rather Interpol Agent Hicks. Isn't that correct? I should not know you figured it out, Miles. Ugh. But it looks like they got to him first. So you really did come here to receive an Interpol agent then? Yes. Agent Hicks was on the trail of a very large international smuggling ring. Smuggling. Agent Hicks was on the trail of an international smuggling ring. That's big. Also, it's bad. Le it's very illegal to do. He went undercover to investigate this crime. And it was I who put him on this case. So that's why you're going so hindi dindy okey tarky are and pokey around it. Do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Right, so. Alright, anyways. And it was I who put him in the keys for sure. I was supposed to receive a call from him on his cell phone once he had landed. I never expected to receive a call about his murder instead. Ouch. I think we now have pretty de identified evidence. That Agent Hicks came down here to the cargo hold. But what was he doing down here, sir? There's nothing but luggage. Oh, I get it. What do you get? 
Maybe he forgot something in his suitcase and came down to get it. Wow! Ah! You needed to whip me for that, sir! Shut up, Scruffy. Agent Hicks came here for a work related reason. Of that, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure he was here to investigate the smuggling operation he was observing. Francisca, do you know exactly how he intended to pursue his investigation? Ugh. No, unfortunately, I was going to find out from him after he landed. I see, but this raises another question. A normal passenger can't access the cargo hold on their own. Yeah, as far as I know, we found out the card thing only has the people who are flight attendants or the captain himself of the plane who works there. Rhoda lost hers. Definitely she's not the killer. Agent Hicks must have identified himself to be a member of a crew. And enter the cargo hold with that person who left him in. Yes, and then he was murdered here. These glass fragments and his broken glasses are a testament of, to that. And then... The killer put Agent Hicks into one of the spare suitcases and... They entered an elevator but while they were riding it up. The plane hit the, that patch of turbulence. Ah, mayday, mayday, shaking feeling! Because of the intense shaking, the suitcase popped open and Agent Hicks' body flew out. Ouch. Also, does that actually really happen? That the turbulence can open up the suitcases and they're not closed properly? Well, that and the body was kind of big. At the same time, his wallet fell out of his pocket, spilling his contents everywhere. Which explains why there was money scattered all over the elevator floor. Investigation complete. I think it's pretty easy to say who the culprit is at this stage. What? 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 Really, sir? Who? Hmm. I know what you're thinking, Miles Edgeworth. He got. But the killer can be none other than Miss Rhoda Te Torino. No, she's not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Where's your proof? Too shame, Missy. Fine. Talk about it. Identified evidence. If it was a crew member, any one of them could have shown Agent Hicks to the cargo hold. But the point to keep in mind is the key card that allows the elevator to come down here. The only person with such high level access is Miss Rhoda Ter Terina. I say that's a pretty deceitful piece of information, wouldn't you? Uh. I know what she's trying to say, but I'm not certain it's as sim simple as that. Can we just go for revolt in it? You know what it's going to lead us to. I hate when you're right again. What do you expect, huh? I don't know. Just trying. Okay, here we go. One. She's hard to guess sometimes. Isn't she? Two. Make sure you're on the statement to press on. Hold it. But it's, hi but it's highly likely that the key card was stolen from Miss Torino. Objection! It's highly likely? Is that possibility the best you can come up with? And you call yourself a dis this despicable of a father. Disciple the father. Uh, yes, well, while I don't have any evidence, I... Be quiet. You're a disgrace. There's more evidence pointing to Miss Rhoda Torino, you know? It's not just the key card that gives her away. Are you talking about the murder weapon? The Captain Ugug piggy bank? Yes! He is also the only person with the key to open the, the display case. <sighs> Add it in, please. Whatever. Further there is the matter of the key to the display ca case that held the murderous paint bank. Press on the statement. Hold it! Hold it. Objection! But that's the kit. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> but that is a fake. Stop right there, Miles Edgeworth. I know where you're going out with this. Huh? You don't have any proof that this is just a red herring. If you must keep 
on insisting that it's a fake, then what is the real murder weapon? And where did and where did it go? Ugh. Ha! Huh. Speechless, I see. That's not a surprise. After all, you know that we searched the entire cargo hold and came up empty-handed. There must be a way. Yeah, no kidding. There must be something that I can help that can help me rule out the piggy bank as a murder weapon. What should we examine further to help us assert the unveracity of a murder? The body itself. It's not just the thing that shows that we've done it. It's the body. I will go with that. Francisca, I think you were too quick to jump to your conclusions. Oh, was I? Yes. We don't have... We even have the autopsy results yet. How can you not... I not say that you made a snap judgment when you have yet to even see if the wound on Agent Hicks' head is consistent with the murder weapon. <laughs> Bingo. Scruffy? Yes, sir? Contact the medical examiner's office at once! I wish to hear the results of Agent Hicks's autopsy! Hey, yes, sir! Look uh, Mr. Edgeworth gets kind of a uh, not hurtful, way, which is good anyway, but I do. Yeah. Uh, the butts guy probably gets it worse. Uh, I'll be right back! Okay. <laughs> We got a big problem, Mr. Edgeworth, sir! What? That was fast. I do love work here. What is it, Detective? Yeah, what is it? They're still doing the autopsy, but they say, said that they already know this one thing for sure. Report! Now! The doc said that it's one giant bruise from a beating from his shoulder down to his mid-back. Oof. From the victim's shoulder to his mid-back. He was beaten over such a wide area. Well, I say maybe it's a sign the killer had a grudge against Agent Hicks. It wasn't just his head. The killer went all out and hit him multiple times, sir. Ooh, that could be bad. Autopsy report. Insisted death results from blow to the back of head, bruising head to the mid-back. I'll talk to you before da Data join it down to my organizer. This the indeed. I guess. Ruffy? What is had a grudge against Agent Hit supposed to be? Uh, well, that's, um... Uh, I not know about the subject now. Was the wound on the victim's head consented with the murder weapon detective? Well, they say... They said they were look still looking into that, sir. You're, com you're completely useless! Ow! Uh... Sir! I told you already! You can't go down there! No! You remove yourself from my way! Let's hold the racket. Oh, yeah, him again. My luggage, my cargo, and mine, and I demand you return them to me! We're still investigating the cargo hold. Please understand and have a little patience. Well, I suppose there's no choice. Finally, I didn't get give a hey. Where are you? You have left me with no choice but to use strong force. Are you ready? You won't get get past me. Oh my God! This is a wait. That's it. That's it. So that's how. That's what this whole thing has been about. How Hicks was killed. Further, there is matter of the key to display case the Heldemers Bank. Captain Ugon Piggy Bank, is there some way for me to prove that this isn't the real murder weapon? I think so. After all, you know that we searched the entire cargo hold and came up empty-handed. Weapon couldn't be found. Nobody couldn't find anything that could be considered the real murder, but real weapon on in the hold. Oh my god, oh my god! The dog said that it's one giant bruise from a beating from the shoulder down to his mid-back. Cause of death. Exclusive bruising from back of head down to mid-back as a severely beat. Oh my god, oh my god. Is any dead? Oh my god, it's not dead. 
Uh, whoa. Um, yeah, we got some logic now. Uh, let's hold that logic real quick. Connect. Cause of death. With the Captain Ugo piggy bank. We'll be back for the plot twist and doing other things in a bit. I'm glad Zenik was okay. Wait, that's gonna be horns, but we gotta be careful next time, dude. We'll be right back. Jeez, that was scary. So next time we get some Trey Series fans out there in the investigation collection of Miles Edward, the first game. Other than getting that guy out of there, I think Edward figured out how Mr. Hicks died. And I figured as much too to surprise Frankie and Gumption next. Hold that thought, folks. <laughs>